Hey y'all, it's Katie, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, organizing files within Figma. So organizing is one of my favorite things to do, and it's easy to get lost in Figma if you're working within a bigger team with a lot of projects going on. Um, so this is how we at Roxas have come to organize our files. Um, if you first get into Figma, you're going to see your recently viewed files um, kind of automatically. This is great if you know you need to get to a file that you were just at. Um, but if you have been in a lot of files recently, which I obviously have, it can be a little daunting and a little um, disorganized. So what we do to organize our files, first of all, um, you have your team files all live over here in your uh, left column. And you can go in there and you can star whichever files you are involved with and you want to make sure that are on your dashboard. So any ones that I'm currently working on, I have starred and um, pulled up over here. Now, the way we label a project is based on what product we're working on, as well as if we are in UX or UI. We have chosen to split up UX and UI um, at Roxas. This has been something we've gone back and forth on. There's pros and cons for both uh, having UX and UI within the same file or separating them out. Um, but we decided to keep them separated um, for now. Um, so if you go into one of these projects, that's going to be specific to whatever product it is, as well as if it's UX or UI. Um, now within this project, we have multiple files. These files are uh, specific to whatever epic or page of the product uh, we are working on designs for. So um, we also have separate files for de design libraries. So we have our system and support library. You can see that they're different colored thumbnails. Um, we did a past Figma Friday where we kind of walked through how to create a thumbnail super quick and really helps for organization. Um, but anyways, uh, you can click onto any of these to get into that specific epic. So if I were to go to search page, um, everything that lives within there is going to be part of search page. Then from here, we have another layer of organization, and that is based on um, JIRA ticket number. So we have our ticket numbers in JIRA that get passed off to dev after they're done with design. And we have that as the root of our um, of our page label within the file, as well as the ticket description there. Um, another cool thing, and I think of one of the most helpful things we do here is we use emojis to signify the status of um, of the ticket. So if, if, the, if it's something that's in progress and not ready for dev handoff, it's going to have a little pencil. Um, if it's something that we have gone through all of the design for and we are ready to hand it off, it has been approved to move forward with. We have it with a little check mark here. Um, and if it's something that's been archived, um, we're not quite using it right now, but we want to keep it for um, future use possibly or just reference. Um, we're going to have a little hourglass next to that. We also have a few other signs in our system that aren't being used here. Um, we have a little uh, back arrow for something that's been backlogged and um, a, the little like do not enter for something that um, has totally been nixed and is not editable. Um, so that's what we do for file organization. Uh, a cool tool that we use for emojis, for quick emojis, at least I use it personally, um, is Rocket. This is actually going to be at matthewpalmer.net slash rocket. And this is a quick way. You just type in a colon and start typing out what emoji you want to use. And um, it pops up right like that. It's pretty cool. So that's it. That's how we organize our files. This has been fun. Thanks. Bye.